Are we back? Am I back? <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, welcome oh. back. Uh, so this we're going is Orbi Universo. Yeah, this is Orbi Universo. Is I don't know if you've played a game like Democracy. I've played Democracy. I've played yeah all of the Democracy games, and this one is in the bundle. So it is in the in the collection. The collection, and so you can play it right now for just thirty five pounds. Yes, it's thirty five pounds. What's the link? Uh, Jingle Jam dot Tiltify dot com slash Spiff. Dash breaks dash charity dash two. That's yes. That's oh, the this, one. This is the second run of that. Uh, from last year, because last year it did break charity. Yes. So let's break charity again. Yes. Um, so shall we explain what the game is and jump in? Yeah. Uh, Potato will. Potato's played this game before, whereas I haven't, and I played the last game before. So Potato took the a directional role, and I'll be taking the directional role, and Potato will do his best to implement my divine wisdom. Yes, exactly. I will be, uh, you will be, I will be the puppet, you will be the puppet master. Yes. Um, you shall be perfectly in control of me. I'll be mastering your puppets. Yes. Now, so what you're looking at here is a variety of starting locations. And this will set certain parameters for your, your country. So, like, for example, if we start all the way here in Inner Mongolia, the land isn't very fertile, but we have a lot of it. So we could have a very pastoral Oh. herding lifestyle. Whereas maybe if we go somewhere like, I don't know, uh, like say down here in Java, we'll have a lot more coastline so we can have a lot more fishing. And so where you want to start um, will not only set your scenario goals, mm. but also like the starting conditions of your scenario. It's very free form, but there is kind of like a, like a path where you kind of walk down. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I mean... Great Britain is is quite a fun option. There's a reason um, I clicked on this. <laughs> yeah. Could we start civilization in Great Britain where we know that civilization actually started? <laughs> not those fake ones. So you're happy with Great Jeez. Britain? And uh, this is oh, the game. I'm just going to pause it real quick while I show you. you you've never seen this before? Uh, no. I, well, I've seen images and I've watched the trailer because uh, I remember when Luz was first talking about putting this in the bundle. I was like, oh, wow, this looks fun. Yes. So we have a variety of nodes and they all mm -hmm. feed into each other. So, for example, our population is feeding into the food node, red. Yes. Because they're eating food. They're taking food out of it, yes. Exactly. And then food is feeding into the natalism, which is how fast our people are making new people. I see. So there's kind of a circle here. If we run out of food, we don't get as many people. We run out of people, they eat less food. Bingo. So, so your population start... stabilizes at one figure. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be true for this whole network. And then we can kind of start adding new nodes and building it out. We have a tech tree over here in the top right oh, where we can wow. make like really interesting decisions. Oral like tradition. It's a very proud tradition in this wow. place. I'm, I'm sure <laughs> we talk all the time. <laughs> Lovely. Um, so the other stuff you can do, every time you introduce one of these nodes, events can happen and new nodes will start to feed into each other. And really fun is you can actually like make little boxes and kind of group oh, nodes group together. Stuff in. So this is like a, a population slash food node. Yes. Almost. Today, wow. I like to do, sometimes when I play it, I like to do chaos where I just put them randomly. <laughs> chaos. <laughs> no. My uh, chaos How would you box. like to do it? Um, I would like to have a, a population box. Um... And then I'd also like to put the food box in in a box next to it and just call it like food production. Right. And then I would like a science slash military box if possible. And then a gubbins box for everything else. Right, a, a holding box. So science slash military. Could I make a suggestion? Yes. Uh, it might be good to have like an empire box. No. Uh, <laughs> put it in the gubbins box. <laughs> <laughs> so let me see here so we have uh, I'll just put everything in the Gubbins box for now I like and how we have pause. island as an option that's fun love so here we go we have our boxes oh well, you can collapse the boxes too which is Ooh, kind of fun very fun can you just turn off the music because it's getting to me <laughs> it's, uh, I think it's at the top of the screen uh, there we go 
crank that down. Crank that yes. down. It got a bit louder when we got into the game. It so got louder. Go. I and both Potato and I, um, you might not know, hate playing games with music. Uh, when we play Civ, we just turn it off. Everyone else is like, oh, I'm listening to Waltzing Matilda again. I'm like, I don't even know what that song is. I have waltzed the Matilda in my dreams too many times. Done it once. Don't need to do it again. Um, so let's start making decisions. What text would you like to start to introduce? Um, I think this is this is Britain, and I feel like we need to start developing society. And I think um, so. These top ones are the ones we can do. So foraging, fishing, and hunting. That's correct. You can do any of those three. Okay. I feel um, like logically hunting makes the most sense because we have a coastline. So sorry, yes. not hunting. I mean fishing. Well, Fuck. I've already messed up here, but we can we can we can still do fishing. We yeah, can fishing do as well. Fishing, I think, is important. So these probably belong in food production. They do, yes. They and do. what I will say to you here is that you don't just make the note; you can choose how much you invest into it. Oh. So um, now, the more you hunt, obviously, the more you deplete your fauna. Yes. Uh, but the more fauna there are, the more they deplete the flora. I tend to find like coastline is kind of interesting in that. You can't really, you can't run, you can't out, of really run out of coast, yeah. So how do you feel about investing? Just crank that fishing crank boat up to maximum. I don't way. see any downsides to overfishing. Perfect. Science hasn't been invented yet. So um, we could see now, uh, if I zoom in here and kind of move I it. see that node is like increasing in its intensity. It's, it's like building up over time. Easing it in. And what we can do as well, actually, if I come over here to population wow, and I click that. this little add to watch list and I open this up, we can see our population graph oh, going up. Look at, the oh, I love in. watching graph go up. I write line goes oh, up. It's like line goes up. Thing. Oh, and baby production is also good. Oh, sorry. I meant to do food because food's yeah. probably a good one to track. Yes, that we, yes, we want to know when we have food. That is good. Um, I would quite like, I guess, from here, if we... I'd, I'd want to get harbours, but what would we need to unlock harbours? So we need Settlement. to get a settlement. And okay. settlement, I believe, would require agriculture. Agriculture. Okay. And so for agriculture, we'd probably need foraging, I'm guessing. Yes, that feels like that would be like the basic. But mm. the problem is we've omega invested into fishing, so we're so, out of political currency. So I'm just going to crank the speed up yeah, while we wait look, for it, money to It doesn't in. matter if we don't develop as fast as the other societies. We are ultimately here to focus on the most important thing and that is fishing the hell out of the world exactly now in order for us to get agriculture like you would like we do have to get foraging up to 30 so would you like me to do that if you have to fine all right let's adjust this little slider Wheat boy oh. i'm gonna try and get it as close as possible it's quite tough actually to get like round numbers which kind of irks me slightly i wish there was like a round number button have you seen the um ancient mesopotamia farmer meme no, what's that? It's like uh, a fake Reddit post on r slash Mesopotamia by user Mesopotamian peasant farmer. And it's just like, I'm so sick and tired of working so hard in the field and all the hunter gatherers run by and just shout, go, weed boy, go. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen that, actually. That's really funny. Um, Jaffa mod, this is Orbi Universal. Oh, sorry, you didn't ask, you were answering. Mm. This is Orbi Universal. It's available in the collection, which you can get for £35. Yeah. Um, you so can, you t oh, what is, is that? This is an event. Um, invasive species, which is hurting both the local fauna and flora. We shouldn't let Daltos into our country. <laughs> He's an invasive species. <laughs> He's an invasive species. <laughs> um, we have a lot of political currency. Is there anything you'd like we to do. do? Yeah, I'd like to get those uh, agriculture and then a settlement. Uh, I think agriculture would be lovely. Um, soil fertility is now important. That's really cool. I like how the game is just ever expanding. And then I want settlement in order to get harbors. Um, Yes, that would be lovely. So, okay, so settlement. All right, settlement. I'll just put that in the Gubbins box. Oh, a lot Gubbins of new box. things appear. Okay, Gubbins box is expanding and we are into the Bronze Age. Um, oh, right. wow. So we now need to worry about stability. Yes, the credibility stability gets low, state. bad things happen. We can increase the size of our nation. Okay. Uh, and we also have political classes now in the population okay. stuff. So I'm going to put the aristocracy class up here. Yep, in the population. That makes sense. I would also put stability up there personally. Um, actually, you know what? Pause. I've come up with an idea for this box. Right. I'd like it to be called Empire. No, no, no. <laughs> not Gubbins. Not Gubbins. Keep Gubbins box. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Gubbins box. And then to the left of Gubbins box, I would like a box called Empire. Right. Okay. It's, I just had this great idea, you see. It's a really, really good idea. So and I I'll think put we like, put in the state, the settlement, and the stability. Um, perfect. All of those great things. Um, Coastline in, in the gubbins. That's all, this sense. is all gubbins yeah, stuff. It's all gubbins stuff. It's great stuff. Um, Technology-wise, I, I really want harbors, but I imagine stability requires us to have oral tradition and music, some kind of like culture, right? 
Um, um, I'm actually, I don't remember what affects stability, but I can get those if you want. No, screw it. Let's get harbors and military. We, we don't care about culture. We're going full Britain mode, which means no <laughs> culture at all. Um, Perfect. Uh, now, I think we have to invest a certain amount into harbors to get something. I don't remember what it is, though. Uh, yes, one of them. Uh, infantry as well is probably a good idea. Let's get some troops in there. Um, How much would you like to invest? Uh, hardly anything. Come on. Like five-ish? Who's going to invade England? <laughs> True. They need, to get, they need boats. <laughs> you need boats for that, and we're going to have the bestest boats. Um, yeah, I'm happy with our harbours. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's just run and see what they create. So military manpower, military efficiency, and military technology. All very cool statistics. I'm trying Lovely. to like shuffle them around into a pleasing way. There you go. That's very big. So this oh. is our manpower. Um, efficiency. And technology. Oh, little army. Yes, we do have a little army. It, this can get quite big, depending on, like, if you go for professional soldiers. Oh, there it is. Quality versus quantity, yeah. all that stuff. I feel like we're definitely more of a, a quantity rather than quality uh, kind of in investment area. So yeah. you want me to get this and go all in? Just all in on the quantity. <laughs> screw uh, screw that quality. I can't remember. Ah, cannon fodder. Cannon That's fodder, baby. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we're definitely going for a massive yeah. British army. We've got a population. We might as well use it. Um, Perfect. What is this? So like... It, <sighs> It does want us to get music, but I, I want to see how far we can go without improving our culture. Oral tradition, I get the feeling, is important to develop society, but music is not. Do you, you want to get oral tradition? Yeah, I think we need to get some education. In the old gubbins box. And this is our culture now. Culture. And uh, They said Britain doesn't have culture. How much would you like to invest? Um, probably into like Druidic society. I don't think we should ever evolve past Druidic society. Yes, the Druids had a lot of things right. Um, exactly. Sacrifice things on rocks and big things. old stone Wait. circles. We can't sing. We don't have music. Sorry. That's true. <laughs> we can just <laughs> quietly contemplate. <laughs> contemplate noise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Right. Um, military ships. Nice. Would you like to get some boats? Yeah, We've let's got go to get some boats. boats. Boat, boat, boat. So now we have a navy, boat. and this is feeding off. So there's probably like a relationship here I should explain. Mm. This is a limiter arrow. I see. So, so the, this can never be bigger than what than the is. amount of harbors we have, which makes sense. I would like more harbors because I'd like more trade. I feel like trade is good. Harbors is very expensive. Would you like me to go about here? Sure. Yes. Perfect. Good. And what about military ships? Don't care about military. Actually, we do need some, don't we? Um... Some ships are built. <laughs> Perfect. I love that. <laughs> Just like, yeah, so pirates won't want to be around. That's important. Uh, so we have a little navy. It's a little navy. Okay, let's take a look through the tech tree and see what we, we could eventually unlock. So navy quota, so we need a navy more than 75. I imagine that's going to be a while. Greek fire, um, that's a bit dangerous. Uh, it could be really sweet, though. Ancient like, napalm could be really good, but we'd need alchemy. Long ships, Wow. Looting campaigns. Oh, you want to do looting? Potato. We need at didn't least tell 30 me. military men. You didn't manpower. tell me that looting was an option. <laughs> You're telling me we can already start looting the French coastline? We absolutely can. All we need to do is to get this up to 30. Uh, what are we waiting for? <laughs> what are we waiting <laughs> so crank for? That bad boy up crank to that bad boy up. Intensive, intensive recruitment. recruitment. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Wow. Um, oh, we could also add mercenaries to get an even bigger army. Uh, I feel like that costs us gold. I don't feel like that's worth it. Oh, right. No uh, yes. Money. Maybe we should have maybe gotten trade because our mm, gold income yes. is... Uh, get some trade going, Potato, very quickly. Uh, quickly, Potato. Where's that trade option? Uh, um, where's, where's that trade, Potato? I think maybe we need to increase settlement. We're about to go bankrupt. Uh, potato? <laughs> Wait, uh, uh, sedentary on. society. I don't remember agreeing to sedentary society. Go on. <laughs> crank that. Crank that, Potato. Crank it. To what? Uh, far, far. We want giga society. Okay, giga society. Um, More so population. It's okay. We'll, we might just have a couple of inflationary and economic crises. At least fishing is making us money. Yes. Foraging as well. Agriculture. Wait, agriculture. Can we just crank up agriculture? What's stopping us from doing that? Uh, nothing, actually. Would you like me to max it? Yeah, who cares about soil quality? So the nice thing is you can actually just hit this little arrow and it'll just automatically Boink. fill it up to the maximum. Lovely. And we can oh. see, actually, oh, you could, there's actually a way to see the effects of a node. Ooh. I think it's here. You can see, as it's going up, it's outputting. More lovely. Yes. Oh, this is good. This is very good potato. Um, we are bankrupt. <laughs> Just like the real UK, <laughs> am I right, guys? Um, 
That's fine, because we've we've now discovered what pottery is. And I imagine we can trade pottery. Correct. We Maybe. can trade pottery. So I think we get some pottery and we put it into gubbins. Uh, so we now have an artisanal class, trade goods and spices. So yes, artisanal class, oh, trade goods lovely. and spices. Now we do, of course, have to invest into pottery. So, yes, this is, I think, just like a little bit of pottery. Maybe like, what's the midpoint looking like? Um, quite expensive. Uh, sure, yeah, let's go for that. That's looking quite nice. Perfect. We'll get there. But the, now that, that will give us cash. Like you can see pottery. Oh, it does make us money. Sorry, potato. It gives us money? It does give us money. Can you increase it more, potato? Yes, I absolutely can increase it more. In fact, I'll put money. it to the maximum for you. Are you happy with that? I'm very happy with that, potato. Perfect. There are more trade goods we can pick up. And I think agriculture... Oh, what's this? Ah. Uh, Mm. Uh, yeah, that's mm. going to tank our stability a little. Yes, just so a little bit. Just mm. a small economic crisis. Mm. <laughs> oh, God. Um, so, how well, do you want to get out of this? There's good news, though. It's over. <laughs> 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 um, just like the UK economic policy, wait for it to go away. It'll yes, be the old fine. bury your head in the sand strategy. It does work. Urbanization. I feel like that's pretty good. But what about Oh, that requires money. Mm. Uh, um, that requires money. That doesn't require money, but I imagine it will. Culture doesn't really make us cash. Uh, overland trade is more than 10, and we get roads. Okay, so to increase trade, we basically just need pottery and spice. Spices are coming from our agriculture, which is increasing, and pottery is coming is increasing our trade as well. So what is our overland trade at... It, there it, it is. Just spawned. Just spawned. That's immediately going to hit 10. So <gasps> tax. I'm seeing tax, potato. <laughs> Trade, Trade tax. tax. <laughs> yes. Instantly. Right. In it goes. And would you like that to be cranked to the maximum? Um... Won't that decrease our overland trade? It will increase our money. Wait until we have roads. Right. Oh, there. That, yep. We ah. require money for... Okay. Increase tax. <laughs> <laughs> How much would you like? Uh, internal taxes, I feel like, are good enough. Just a, just like not too far up. Right there. here? Yeah, this seems good. This seems good. Right. Um, so we should make some cash from that. Uh, is that naval trade? <gasps> well, we're going to get some good money from that. The Gubbins box has become slightly unmanageable. <laughs> okay, potato, pause. <laughs> Pausing the game. I propose a new box. A new um, box, my lord. The money box. Will I make it really big? Yes. Big money box. <laughs> <laughs> Please call it big money box. <laughs> big B. money box. Mm. All right. I want all the trade stuff in there. So trade goods, naval trade, not humidity. Who cares about humidity? It's always raining. Spices. Trade tax in there. Lovely. Overland, Overland trade. trade. We've got temperature. Oh, Why would the, I don't want listening. temperature in that pottery. I, you know, slight brain fart. Oh, the artisan class, they should probably go up into population. They, sh they should probably go up into population, yeah. And we can move boxes around in a very satisfying oh, manner, this too. This game. I think I have everything trade related here. Yeah, this looks good to me. Right. So we're, we're starting now to make a lot of money off of trade. Uh, if we unpause, like we've we've almost got back to making cash potato. We are actually we're about to start uh, being net positive. because <gasps> Mining. <laughs> mining, I believe, does allow you to mine gold potentially. <laughs> he does love gold. <laughs> I, I love gold. Um, we do have to wait a little while for our political power to go in. Um, would you like me to increase the speed of the game? Are you happy with this? No, I'm, I'm, ha I'm pleasantly happy with the speed of the game. Um, I, I feel like mining is good. Uh, I would want roads. I don't care about the economic crisis. Shut up about the economic crisis. Um, roads does cost cash, and we don't quite have a reserve yet. True. Uh, what is currency exchange? Uh, sorry, food exchange. Buy or sell food. Uh, don't really need that. Granary store, food efficiently. Uh, fine, mining. We get mining, potato. Right, we just have to wait a little bit for a little bit of cash. and then mining. mining now, though, potato. Yes, so we are now mining gold and also salt. So, uh, what is limiting our mining? Uh, literally just our population? Yes, population. If I click here, I can show you the nodes affected, or is it... Um, yes. Mm -hmm. So, population is affecting us here. Okay, cool. Crank it. All the way up. Crank it. Boom. It is now investing to maximum. So what happens is 
when you click on invest to maximum, it's, you can... Yeah, it's just when the political power comes in, it's assigning it to it. Um, I am noticing, Potato, our stability has taken a little bit of a hit. That's fine. Good. Um, the problem is we're in a permanent economic crisis. <laughs> <laughs> just like just like Britain. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. The economic crisis is vastly over-exaggerated by fake <coughs> fake druid news. Don't listen to your druids if they say there's an ongoing economic crisis. It's fine. But look, the, the economic crisis just disappeared. It just disappeared. It's gone. It was never there. Stability is zero. <laughs> <laughs> it is zero. Oh, God. Oh, God. Perhaps we should take action. No. <laughs> I've got a military. <laughs> um... <laughs> I think I would quite like there to be um, a granary does seem important to store food, but I feel like roads would massively increase our trade. Right, yeah, roads? Yeah, roads. Yeah. Uh, let's, I'll put that there. That's a nice little... Yeah. So what would roads cost us? So I believe investing in roads costs mostly money. Well, crank that to the maximum because it's going to make us money. This is like a long-term investment. But yeah. The more we get into it, those those little paths are going to become highways and don't forget improving your roads actually will increase your tax rate too so this is all we're just we're spending money to make money which is the best use of money it's my favorite use of money potato I, it makes me so happy so whatever text have we now unlocked if you scroll through that tree so music what's that what's that second what's beneath music potato uh, trade fair Ab above that one okay. trade fair trade fair <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god uh they can't they couldn't even see it because the bar was in the way it's oh, fine right. <laughs> um i i would i do want to unlock that pillaging stuff so let's let's see um for the uh what was it for looting campaigns organized nomadism and military manpower so military manpower we can sort out uh that's going to sort itself out over time so Organized nomadism. How do we get organized nomadism? So that is the opposite choice you have to picking settlement. Okay. So those are antagonistic choices. We would have to destroy our settlement and become nomads. I feel like that might damage our economic trade base. Well, yes. Well, our, our aristocracy class would basically be obliterated. Um, what has the aristocracy ever done for us? Oh. Oh, no, the Troubles. <laughs> oh, no. Great Britain, no. <laughs> Not again. Um, um, is, what's happened? What's causing this? Is this just an uh, unstoppable event? Yeah, I it's think fine. it was just a massive crisis. We ran out of food. We had a huge dip in population. We'll be fine. Well, we've got a whole bunch of money now. So um, let's take a look at, I guess, spending some of that sweet cash on... We um, could do... Our Ligma Franca. Oh, this will increase our stability, I believe. So who cares about stability? What's it ever done for us? I feel we go food exchange because we've got a bunch of cash. We could just use our cash to buy food to grow a population to make more money. Like that's just net money making potato. Perfect. Would you like me to crank speed so we can get that money quickly? Yeah, let's get that. Crank little, there we that go. speed. And then you can now drop it. <gasps> Diplomacy. Ah, so this is our first interaction with neighbors uh, mm. this basically measures how angry they are okay and if they're angry i guess they get in our way and fight us oh piracy is becoming a problem uh, uh. we have no navy <laughs> oh where's our navy gone um the pirates have killed our navy can we build a bigger one potato <laughs> yes i think we should so. uh quite big quite big quite big there we go that's good naval military complex oh uh a new technology is unlocked potato oh um what does that do for our economy? Well, basically, we can raid our neighbors and sell, get, interns. sell people, sell the interns. Could we could we unlock that? Sure. Uh, so we have the option now to buy uh, interns. Okay. For our economy, would you like to buy interns? Um, what would they be adding into our economy? So uh, they... Oh, they can go into agriculture. They feed your agriculture, and I believe they also feed your trade node because they essentially produce resources for your economy. Well, why wouldn't we buy them, Potato? That's just free money. Right. How many would you like to buy? All of them, Potato. <laughs> oh, my... <laughs> All of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. 
The interns um, will make us money. Yes, they cost us money, but there's no negative potato. No, there, there's absolutely no downside. There's no it. downside to this. <laughs> you can't tell me there's a downside. Um, I feel like we should potentially get that food exchange getting built now. Right, um, okay. So I'll put that in food production? Yes. Uh, our money is dropping very quickly, potato. Well, you, you might have purchased too many interns. <laughs> There's no <laughs> such thing. <laughs> um, that's fine. So food exchange, buy and sell food. So if we're producing too much food, I guess we can sell it. Um, I feel like, could we buy just a little bit of food? Well, you, we can, but I will say to you, the current problem that we're having we have a lot is of food. we have no storage for it. Oh, looting campaigns, potato. <laughs> Uh, we just need a little bit of money or, or, or political power. So Police just... neighbours with our military slash fleets. We're going to Britannia rule the waves their asses. And... So should I grab it? Yeah, we're going to become a pi pirate state. Um, <laughs> troubles. <laughs> <laughs> we just, can we just... just can we have like the box of shame and just <laughs> <laughs> the troubles go into it? <laughs> uh, potato, all of our food is gone. Ye um, oh, that's because we're having a massive trouble crisis. It'll come back. Okay, I see. Good. Uh, so let's get a granary so we can get storing that food. Right, um, we just need a... Well, mm. Sorry, we, we're buying interns at a record rate. Uh, I understand. <laughs> lot, of, lot, lot of interns. Um, but I will say this trade is booming. These interns are buying and yeah, selling goods. Like trade, trade is going great. We're up to like... Is that level six trade? Yes. Wow. That's, I've actually, I didn't know the wow. number could go this big. <laughs> we are doing so good. It's eight. It's up to eight potato. 800 trade. 900 trade. It's over a thousand trade. Oh, it's stuck at 900. That's still really good. That's amazing. I didn't, I legitimately did not know it could go this high. Uh, Life finds a way. So. Wow. I think the, the interns will help a lot as that continues. We actually are slowly gaining money. We are. Yes, because we, we, we are spending it on the procurement of interns. Um, how many interns can we get? Uh, I don't know if there's a cap. Oh, we're, we currently have the maximum number we can get. Okay, that's the maximum we can get, because I'm still seeing that's a level one quantity of interns, which implies, theoretically, we could have more. Well, if we go looting, I believe, uh, that, I think looting maybe gets us more. Mm. Yeah, so I would, I would quite enjoy a bit of looting. You want me to max that out? Uh, yes. Oh, beware the resulting insecurity on roads will harm trade. Oh. Uh, so it'll harm trade. Let me see. How is that connecting? It doesn't seem to be connected. Mm. Ah, I see. It's slightly hurting our naval, naval trade. Oh, well, our naval trade's not as important as other money making. So neighborhood troubles go into the box of shame. And um, <laughs> the main stability troubles, have, of course, happened again. Um, that's fine. There is no national identity to the British intern state that we've created. Uh, you can just declare yourself to be king and you you will be probably be the king uh, for as long as you can hold your coins, I guess. <laughs> I think our stability, it's getting close to wrapping around zero back yeah. to where we are, just perfectly stable. Positive stability. Um, let's get that stability thing in, the lingua, lingua franca. Uh, that's a lot of, lot of political a power. A lot of political power. That's fine. We'll just speed through this segment a bit, I guess. Right. Um, speeding through. We're looting... The number go up. Number goes up. Number always. I realize the number is capped at going up to a hundred, which isn't enough to get the stability thing. Right. I don't remember how we improve that. I think it might have to do with one of these. It's best not be music. It's probably music, it, isn't it? I think it, it might be cultural. Uh, uh, what does Forge do? Uh, this gives military us military technology. technology. Oh, that could be fun. Uh, let's try. Gr oh, we can't do granary because we're spending all of our money on interns. Yes. Um, can we chill the purchase of interns? Uh, yes, we absolutely can. How chill would you like it to go? I feel like zero because we've. Cut, I feel like we've got them all, haven't we? Don't sell them. Don't sell them. Sorry, I'm trying. It's, you got to get it like really perfect. Shall we just buy? Yeah, buy a, a little, a few, a, a few, a very small number. Right, and is that going to? Is that yes? Our money is now going up. Yes. Lovely. Lovely, but our stuff. number of slaves shouldn't go down. Exactly. Because we we'll still get like a nice interns. Uh, we'll still get a nice bit of them coming in. Yeah, I feel like we've actually just stabilized the country there massively. I think wow. so. I think so. Like once we have money now, we'll start to be able to do more investments. Yep. 
And we'll be, we'll be happy days. There's literally no downside to any of our actions. Beyond the few Bronze Age years of no stability, there was still bountiful, bountiful excitement to be had. Um, so we need to get a forge for the Iron Age, or alternatively other things. Yes, there's, there's, there's many ways to advance through each age, and I believe we can go all the way down to like the Victorian age, where we start My to do God, sailing. That's amazing. And, you know. Speaking of amazing, get that granary in. Right, granary into food time. production. Yeah, I'll just pop that over here. Okay. So, and would you like to invest in this? So, what is there any cost to investing, or do we just crank it to the max and then we hit it and job done? I think there's like a tiny bit of maintenance, but that's it. <laughs> Who cares? Crank it. I just crank it. Up it goes. I feel like that food stability will be greater um, in the long term. Yes. Um, uh, it, now our food will be able to go above a hundred. Which yes. also means our birth Population rate Population can go above 100. And that will mean more mining, oh, which means more gold. More gold, potato! I love the, like, there's something so satisfying about seeing, like, the little web of, like, I little love, interconnected nodes. I node. love gold going <clears throat> up. Um, would urbanization improve our ability to um, have settlements? I think it might, actually. And would that potentially increase our maximum culture? I think it does. Or political power? I, 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 I see... It always seemed... Whenever I was playing it, it, it increased kind of on its own. Oh, incomes, so never... incomes plus from culture and population. So yes. I would imagine it's culture that increases it. Um, mm -hmm. Let's try music. I never thought the day would come. Actually, wait, up, 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 up. Religious monuments? Yeah, we can do that. Oh, I don't really want religion. Uh, let's go for let's go for music. It does just, just say it improves culture. So right, boom. There's music. Fine. And now let's see if the cap has been increased uh, on culture. Hasn't yet. Damn it. Okay, fine. Click on music. Uh, we can remove it. Actually, yeah, just remove it. Okay, it's it. gone. It was it's music gone. was a mistake. Didn't give Rock us and roll never happened. Tributary state. What? Oh right. Yes, we can start to get um, people who owe us money. We do have to invest in diplomacy and get rid of looting, though. <laughs> Why would we get rid of looting? Well, Trade fair, though. That's fun. Well, because instead of oh, looting, we can go conquering. <laughs> uh, smart. Smart. But why would I want to hold... Why would I want to hold France when I could just force <laughs> them to be my biatch? Uh, that's true. That's true. That's totally an option that you can go for. Mm -hmm. Um... Is that what you'd like to do? Yes. Well, hmm, y yes. I feel like raiding them is more effective. Uh, but I'm noticing... What is that big red thing that's just started eating into overland trade? Oh, that uh, appears to be the looting campaigns. <laughs> yeah, so the, the looting is hurting trade, but not like... Okay. Not that much. Just overland trade. And like our total trade is still going good, actually. Yeah, this is fine. Overland trade is good. I feel like forget overland trade. Actually, I track the just trade as a whole. Trade goods. Trade goods. Yeah, just track that entire, entire majestic thing. Um, right. So I want to increase this as much as possible. I want to get this over a thousand. But this is my goal. Shall I just? We can forget about stability. Right. Um, Gold is the sign of stability. It is. So let's get some urbanization in because that's more population, which in turn means more trade. Is my hope. Uh, so the village becomes a town and then a city. Uh, it avoids hygiene problems. Um, oh, gosh. Be, be aware if the population size does not follow our urbanization, the cities will fall into ruin. God, they're so needy, those bastards. <laughs> um, has that increased our cap on? No. No. I want I more. <laughs> I don't know what... <laughs> maybe I just have to be in the next age or something like that. No, it, there, there's something that increases... Oh, wait, maybe if I get Forge. Forge will put us in the next age. Would you like me to try Yeah, it? yeah, whack in Forge. Bam. Mm. Well, we we're in the Iron, Iron Age Iron anyway. Uh, Navy Quota. What is that? So Navy Quota will change the maximum amount of Navy you can have. Okay. So I'm guessing increase the cap. But we don't really need the cap increased. We're already pile driving our neighbors that's right um <laughs> what are we mm. investing into again i have forgotten do not be forge it, it, is it cities are we investing into the cities urbanization no oral tradition uh, oh can you check that our slave count hasn't gone down just want to double check that it's going down very slowly mm. 
Shall I increase it? Just a little bit. Just a little bit of uh, intern procurement, please. Just a small just, amount. There we go. Just a little scooch? Yeah, a little scoochums. There we go. Lovely, lovely. Can't can't lower the quantity of interns I have at my disposal. No, and that is now it's going back up. Mm-hmm. So I imagine diplomacy is going to increase our trade, uh, which is important. Um, yes. So could we maybe get some diplomacy going, Potato? Yes. Uh, I'm going to stop auto-investing in our levers because it's okay. eating up all of our political power. It is, yes. Hopefully this doesn't destroy the economy. Um, Why is my political power, Potato? <laughs> I'm actually not sure. I, this is very strange. Oh, wait, wait. If, if you move to the right, what is that thing? Oh, oh, mining got much... We can invest a lot more in mining because we have a lot more f- people... That's the problem. So well, like leave it be. Leave it be. We're getting... Mining is good. Look at how fucking crazy the line from mining to trade is. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's wild. I'm also noticing trade is like an endlessly feeding thing. Like, if you look at the trade, it's feeding into that... Um, actually, I'll, I'll move the mouse, actually, because I can do oh, that. you can do it, yeah. Um, it's feeding into <clears throat> companies, and then companies are boosting the trade, which is then, in turn, feeding back into companies. Yes, you do have positive oh, feedback loops. I love the positive feedback loop. Salt. My gosh, we've very little they salt in our added empire. Riffy into this game. That's crazy. Um, right. Could we get some... Actually, no, let's just... I'll just click on the mining, and I want to see that line go up on mining. Oh, Wow. Look at it go. No, look at it go. Increase the speed because this is just going to take like... Oh, sorry. Yes, I was, I was about to suggest a wonderful that. Wild. And then you were like, I want to see the positive feedback loop. And I was like, where is that? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Lovely, um, jubbly. So we have cranked it out. We are now mining at maximum. Oh, we have a crisis. What is our new crisis? Naval invasion. Oh, it's gone. We it's did it. gone away. We have a huge navy. There's a big thing in the big money box. What's that? Region... <gasps> Prosperity. Prosperity. <gasps> Prosperity. More trade. More trade. More money. More trade. I think that also goes in the box of shame. It box is an event. Shame. Yeah, it is an event. Into the shame box. Positive box. event. What is that? Barbarian fret. Oh, yes. We're going to get invaded soon. That's fine. We don't need to worry about slavery. Interns are protesting. Shame box. Luckily, our military decreases that. So, um... But I think what they're doing is the military is being attacked. I see. For the duration by... of this event. If you look mm. at the events, they have like a little bar that goes around. Oh, them. and then they're done. So if you run out of military, That's a they problem. start to affect the other two things that they're attacking more. Mm. Whereas right now our military are tanking. They're, yeah, they're taking up the fuss of those ungrateful, ungrateful bastards. Um, Who we gave jobs. Those interns. Oh, we're not paying you anything, but we're giving you opportunities. Exactly. It's, uh, ex- we're paying them in, in exposure. Exposure bucks. Uh, so diplomacy, I think, is a good idea because that might increase our trade is my logic. Um, yeah. Um, so just like a small scooch of an investment. Just, just a little bit, like not too much, because it says we have to pay gifts um, to keep the peace alive. So like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. That feels like enough. Right here. Hungry bastards. So neighborhood bellicism, the danger of invasion. So we're near war. Yes. We're chilling that out, though. We're chilling those vibes. We're, um, we're bringing it down, calming them. Everyone's going to take a chill pill. Everyone's going to be introduced to gravy and chips and cheese, and that will like really mellow them out a bit. Now, we do have a looming threat of a barbarian invasion. Quite far away, though. Yes, it is ticking up, and there are things you can do to make it go faster, if you'd like. Would that affect our neighbours? Yes, I think it, there is a thing you can do. It's like expansionism. Barbarian advancement. Okay, yeah, I think that's this is if it. we're in late antiquity. I think this allows you to become the barbarians, actually. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I have become the end game crisis. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bump up the speed just slightly so we can get this uh, Yeah, get that political power over. back. Yeah, get, get diplomacy sorted. Um, I feel like, can we crank up urbanization a bit? Because I feel like that would lead to us having more famine has left your civilization. <laughs> Good, didn't want that. Um, because I feel like urbanization is going to give us more political power growth. Right, my like a full send? Full send, why not? Full send it, baby, and we'll crank yeah. the speed to let that bad boy go. Get that population up. Look at our money climb, our population go. Sexy stuff. I wish I could remember. I, why, why can't I? Ooh. Republic? We could, would you like to be a republic or a different? Um, you could become a kingdom. What's the one beneath it? Urban militia. 
Stabilize public order with a militia. Yes. We don't need that, do we? We don't need stability, so what's the point? Exactly. Um, like, what, stability hasn't negatively affected us in any way, shape, or form. It's like every now and again, we get like a small little trouble, Le- and then yeah. everything is fine. The troubles happen. We love the troubles. They're great <laughs> for... <laughs> don't give <laughs> that. Uh, <laughs> we do not love. We do not love the troubles. <laughs> we do not. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. Uh, um, let's get some religious monuments, maybe. Yes, yeah, so that'll go in the Gubbins box, and this will actually add... Um, new stuff. How complex would you like our religious stuff to be? We can make temples, temples cathedrals. Amazing. T- pyramids. Uh, no, pyramids are way too expensive. Screw pyramids. But we have so much money. Fine, build the pyramids. More culture, more pyramids. Oh, is that boosting the artisans, is it? Yes, that's increasing oh, culture. our culture. Culture which increases our national cohesion. <clears throat> oh, which is increasing our stability a bit. Oh. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know, actually. Is this? Wait, where is the stability? It just... Oh, no. Huge troubles are coming. That's fine. No, stability's still screwed. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, shall I Shall I speed up while we do this massive... Event? Yeah, we've got to speed up whilst we build the f- bloody pyramids, potato. I love that we're still, like, our money is still doing decent, even though we're building pyramids. Yes. Well, I think we're, we're spending a lot on navy, which is... Um, but we're not spending much on candles. So I think maybe we might want to work on that. Candles? Yeah. Do you not remember that classic meme? It's like, guys, I need help with my budget. And it's like, oh, <laughs> candles. <laughs> Sorry, <yeah. laughs> oh, gosh. Um, um, oh, by the way, if you want, I can just right click culture and it'll go away. Yeah. Right. No more Smooth. culture. Oh, that's so good. So if there's things you just want me to get rid of, do let me know. What is that thing that has just appeared? Uh, the big red event in the middle? Oh, we're being invasion. navally invaded, oh, but our navy is tanking it. We've got such a big navy. If oh, I yes. right-click this, you can see everything that it is affecting. Pathetic. Pathetic. Um, so what is above Republic? Because I think we have Kingdom up there. Uh, religious ceremony, writing monarchy. Monarchy. Got to get the monarchy in. Right, into the Gobin's box you go, good sir. Oh, I, would that I'd go put in this Empire? into Empire, yeah. Let's put it in. Right. A state governed by a monarch with low authority. So you can oh, go. this increases stability. Um, no, have it just like there's a monarch and some people know he's there. So minimum. Minimum, because we don't want that stability going up too much. No. That would be a problem. Now, one thing I will say is you need to have a little bit of piety and monarchy to get certain things. Okay. So, so like if we want to become an empire, for example, we need to have 50 monarchy. Mm-hmm. So that might influence your decisions. No. <laughs> Divine right? How much do we need for that? So for that, we need piety, which requires us to invest more into religious things. So, for example, mm. one of them that we can invest into, I believe, is religious ceremony, um, which <gasps> will allow us to start to build up our religious infrastructure. But potato, what about <clears throat> writing? That way we can write down how much money we have. Ooh, I'm genuinely shocked we're doing this much trade. Oh, so we get rid of oral tradition and then it becomes writing. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, That's perfect sense. I'm shocked at how much trade we're doing with none. Would you like me to crank writing? Sure. I, how expensive would it be? Nobody knows. Well, it just costs political power, basically. Yeah, it's fine. That's um, fine. Our population is uh, dipping a bit, so I'm wondering if what more we could do to improve our food, I guess. So food is like a technology thing, which mm-hmm. will be required, like things like mathematics, things like uh, culture, potentially. There's certain cultural things like universities and schools that kind of depend on culture I See that we can get to work on. In fact, we might have... Schools in here. No, we have. I think. I think we need to get mathematics up. But things like animal husbandry can help us if we invest Ooh, into hunting. hunting. Okay, yeah. Let's get animal husbandry. Uh, that sounds actually really, really good. So just get it up to fifteen. No, I don't want to destroy all of the cows. Uh, set it, I like yeah, sixteen is good. Sixteen is good. Give me the bacon. Um, <laughs> no, I think. Um, so don't want to hunt too much. We're very much so focused on agriculture. Yes. But we will soon have animal husbandry, so we can get those delicious sheep and cows. Yes. We must invent the Welsh peoples of the British Isles. Yes. Oh, we're building Wales. We are building Wales, yes. The most important part. Everyone's favourite part. (laughs) Is there another slave revolt? Oh, slave revolt too. Electric boot. It's our intern uh, intern relocation experiment. Um, (laughs) Uh, It's okay. The intern uh, revolt against bedtime. I want bedtime. Drone strike. Uh, (laughs) Animal (laughs) husbandry. Let's get it. (laughs) So now this gives us livestock, which will create food, but eat our flora. 
Um, okay. But that's not that big of a deal. We can go to a fairly large investment into animal husbandry. It's not yeah, that big of a deal. I think, screw those plants. So, I'd say 75-ish? Yeah, 75. Let's go. Perfect. Oh, this has gone... Like, would you say this is an above-average go? I would say, yeah, I would say for a first go, you're doing quite well. I think you're... Because uh, you've made it to the third era, which is faster than I made it to the third era in my <laughs> game. It took me a very long time. Because what I would do when I play... Every time I put something down, I would crank it to maximum, and I didn't realize there was like a speed up the game button. Yes. So I would sit there for like 10 minutes like, this is really fun to watch the lines, but I wish... I wish, yes, I could I could actually see the results of my actions. Oh, a little invasion. Oh. Horse domestication. We can now make cavalry. Oh. We can That's not a boat. Boats. That's not a boat. They're like boats of the land. That's not a boat. Horses can swim. I want a better boat. <laughs> okay. uh, if you want better boats, we can go for... Long ships, I think. What do I need for a long ship? Temperature is less than 40. Oh. Or looting campaigns is at least 30. Navy is at least 50. So what's affecting the limit on the looting campaigns? I'm wondering. Ah, so the size of our army. Military. We need a much larger military. Can we crank up the recruitment of... Gosh, we've actually got it to max. Yeah. We're going to so need we, mercenaries, uh, Potato. Yeah, let's get some mercenaries. And how much would you like? We need probably about the midpoint, I'd say. We need... So about 30-ish? Yeah, because I, I need that number of overall troops to go up because I want my longship so I can do pillaging draft animals. Oh, wow. So that's going to boost our agriculture. Oh, potato, this is going so well. The more livestock we have, the more draft animals, the more agriculture. Trade goods, we're nine off of a thousand. I think we might be hitting off some sort of hard limit um, for some reason. I'm not sure what the limit is. Maybe we just need more trade goods. Maybe, maybe. So our military is uh, growing now in size. Um, yes. So previously, it was stuck really, really low mm -hmm. because of the issues we were having with... Um, it's certain people, yes, getting angry. Well, I think it was. it's actually the looting. We're doing uh, a lot of looting, which is hurting our manpower. Do we want to temporarily stop the looting? That's up to you. You can do that, but we also just unlock the ability to do more looting, which means more money. Because uh, if you look over here... <laughs> You're right. More looting is now an option. Would you like me to invest maximum? Uh, yes. Okay. We're cranking up the looting. Uh, also, lingua franca, I'm noticing, is an option. Increase national cohesion. We do now have the ability to hold more political power. So something we did that I missed <laughs> allowed us to do more. Yeah. Would you like us to get lingua franca? Yeah. I okay. think we get it in and uh, we can now have our stability being improved, which in turn... that's Is that increasing? Our it increases na both naval and overland trade. More potato. <laughs> so shall I crank it up? Yes, potato. That's a lot, but it's, it's quite worth expensive. It. But there's always the fast forward button. It's always the fast forward button. We love the fast forward button. Wow, our trade goods has just plowed into the ground, though. Oh. Potato. Uh, was that maybe related to a population dip? We had a food dip. Yes, our f I think we had a food dip, and mining took a hit. Mm. It is climbing back up. Yes, it is climbing. Okay, so it's fine. Uh, no, mining is fine. Mining has always stayed fine, Potato. Uh, huh. So that was wrong. Um, Wasn't slain. No, slaves are doing good. What is our number on our intern pile? Uh, it's about 98. 98. Okay, that's, that's good. That's a good quantity. Um, oh, maybe there was a slave revolt. Bingo. I think that's what hurt the trade. That and it's still sense. now curving back up. It is. It's taking a while, though. I wonder if Lingua Franca did cap it surely it would it would increase the trade not decrease it yeah because mm. it's a pointy arrow hmm. i'm not sure actually to be honest with you i've way could uh are we able to increase mercenaries or does that require political power to increase or is that just it money does it requires uh political power okay right so we can't really do that at the moment that's fine ignore that scrap that scrap that idea um what else have we got in terms of technologies and stuff and such? The religious ceremony would allow us to get divine right, so you would have the divine right to rule. I already have that, yes. so... That's just automatic. Every time you walk into a room, like, <laughs> royal banners fall down. It's crazy. It was wild when it first happened and I entered into the office and, like, Lewis just broke down into tears. It was, <clears throat> it was truly magical. I, yeah. I believe he swore fealty then and there. He did, yeah. And since then, I've had the commanding stake in the company. Yeah, so people think wow. that it's like Lewis and Simon, and then like the, but it's actually Spiff, 
Lewis and Simon, and then <laughs> everyone else. It's kind of like a, you know that pyramid um, where everyone just gets down on their like knees and you build the human pyramid? It's that. You're at the top of the funnel. I'm at the top of the human pyramid. Ooh. Hmm. We should make a human pyramid, actually. We should. That would be good fun. Who, who would we put on top? Who would be, if we were to do an acrobatic? Oh. I you need feel, a good mascot. You do need a good mascot, and I feel like Daff is just the best mascot. He's just such a happy little guy. Um, I want to see if we can get the thing that we caused from the looting campaigns off. Uh, I can't remember what we were close to. The looting campaigns were... Wait, hang on a second. Harbors. Can we... We can increase the size of our harbors, Potato. Okay, yes. Crank that up. That's going to increase trade massively, actually, uh, which is really important to me. Um, military ships are doing good as well. Oh, oh, oh. It was... Um... Yeah, I saw it pop up briefly, I think. What is it? What is it causing? Gosh, it was there for like five seconds. I think the problem is we don't have enough troops. Hang on. Oh, it's because it keeps bumping up and then bumping down. One second. Long, Long ship. ship. Oh, oh, one nine five. Expensive. That's fine. Speed, speed, speed. We'll get it. We'll get right, it. Big speed. Big, big speed. speed. Beer. Um, add. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. gonna add a little bit of mercenaries. Yeah, a little bit more into mercenaries just to get us more consistently above that thirty number. Yep. Oh, slave revolt. <laughs> oh, damn it. God, uh, damn, God damn it. it. <laughs> no, our looting is going away. Speed, 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 speed. speed. Oh. Oh. There we go, there we go. We're doing good, we're doing good, we're doing good. I think our army just our got army obliterated. Our army is tiny. So I think we're going to have a hard time getting long ships. Uh, fine, we have to go on a break, guys. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. No long ships today. But no this was ships. Orbi Universal, which you can get as part of the Jingle Jam collection. Uh, it's thirty-five pounds, and you get over a thousand pounds. One thousand two hundred US dollars of games. Do make sure you claim your keys very quickly. Yes, and we have another hour of this to go, but we will be switching to a new game. That's right. Um, which is very similar to this, actually. Is it? Well, I suppose from a relative strategic society building perspective. Right, because yes. I only I only played it when it first released. Right. This will be fun then. Yes, it'll be very good. It'll be very fun. See all the changes that have been made. But I think that's us for this game. Mm, yes, it, it is us. Goodbye. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Love the dongs. Just like, bong, dong. society is failing. <laughs> bong, <laughs> rebellion. Oh, yeah, bong. I know it's still alive. Hi, guys. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be gone in just a few minutes' time. If we stop um, moving, maybe they think the stream is frozen? I wasn't expecting to be zoomed in on. <laughs> it kind of took me by surprise. Oh, dear. Um, cheers, guys. Uh, see you after the break. We'll be back with a few more games for another hour, and then it's time for the quiz. Ooh. Are you on the quiz? I'm not on the quiz, but I'm excited to watch it. Nice. I might get some dinner and watch it. I, I don't get to have dinner because I'm on it. Oh, right. That's what oh, I, I see. I'm well, a hungry boy. You will be a very hungry boy. Very hungry boy. Yes, hand off now. Goodbye. Bye.